A, what are the three V's and what the heck do we have to know about these things? Okay. Well, you, when you introduced me, you said that I help people speak, sound, and look like leaders. Well, think about the speech, the sound, and the appearance. The three V's for speaking would be the verbal. What do you say? How, how organized is your message? Do you get to the point? Is it grammatical? Does it have distractions of poor grammar? And that's going to affect what somebody might think of me. And that's the verbal. Then we have the vocal. How do you sound? Do you have a voice that's very nasal and that like the nanny, if anybody remembers watching that, that nasal voice could be very irritating to listen to. Maybe I speak too fast. Maybe I speak way too slowly and I put my audience to sleep. Maybe I have monotone and there's no expression in my voice. Or perhaps I'm so perky that it's irritating to listen to that too. There are all these different features. Maybe my pronunciation isn't clear. Perhaps I have an accent. Maybe it's a foreign accent. Maybe it's a heavy New York accent, which I had to deal with. And that's what made me interested because I came from New York, but didn't live in New York. So my accent became a distraction. So the vocal is my sweet spot because I'm a speech and language pathologist. And that's where I help people sound more confident. Uh, the one thing I left out is the up talk. When people talk like this and they're trying to make a statement and it sounds like a question, that's not going to make you sound confident. So those are the vocal pieces. And then the visual is fairly clear cut. It's how do you look, not just how do you dress, but how do you carry yourself? How is your posture? What do you do with your hands? What, what are your postures that are going to make you look friendly and open or closed off? What do you do with your eye contact? What about your facial expressions? Do you have a frown when you're talking to people? And then Rich, with the virtual meetings, where do you look? Do you look at the camera or do you look at the thumbnail of the person? Because if you're trying to read their body language and look at them, right now I'm looking at you, but nobody thinks I am. I need to look at a camera. So the visual piece is very important. So if you have your, your verbal, your vocal, and your visual in alignment, that's when you're going to have that polished professional presence, which is what I work on.